Colchester. I'm here this morning at the scene of an incident a couple months ago at Colchester Harbor where a car drove off the ramp into the lake and two people died. Now we don't know if it was a murder and we don't know if it was a murder-suicide or just an accident but we do know is that every vehicle and every body that goes into the lake has to be recovered. So on Monday, March 18th, I'm asking council to have a conversation about level of service that we'd like to see in the fire department. In 2015, council did have preliminary discussions on this. We decided we wanted to start to train our force in water and ice rescue. Right now, presently, we have 10 firefighters with that training and ideally three to four of those firefighters need to show up per call. So that may seem okay, but to me, it's not okay. I want to have more. I want to provide more service, more training, and more equipment to our fire department to better equip them in case, heaven forbid, an emergency like this happens again. If we have 10 fire firefighters trained in the entire municipality, we can't always have the odds that three or four are going to be available in station three. So I'm asking council to say, hey, is, is this okay? Are you satisfied with that? Personally, I'm not okay. Next time it could be a mom or a dad that drives into the harbor with their children in there and you know, firefighters are just standing on the side watching this vehicle and if there's not enough of them there and that are trained, then they have to watch that car go into the water. So it's about a level of service discussion with council and I'm hoping that council has that discussion and I, I don't see it as being a huge expense to provide this additional training. And you know, it, how much is a life, right? How much do lives matter? And, and if we're not looking to provide that training, can other people in our community provide that training, right? There's, there's divers in our community. If we can't provide it ourselves, I'm hoping that council looks at a contract with somebody who can provide it. And I hope that we never actually need to use it, but I just wanna be sure that I am doing everything I can. Right now it's on me, cause I'm aware of gaps in services and I'm not okay with being aware of that. I wanna fix those gaps. So I'm seeking council support to fix those gaps.